Welcome to the OnlyFans Secrets Marketing Podcast. The goal of this podcast is to help both new and established OnlyFans creators learn the basics of online branding, marketing, and promotion to help you make more money with your content and maximize your time online. My name is Richard Lewis, and I have over 20 years of internet marketing experience. So let's get started with today's topic. And that topic is how to avoid OnlyFans scams, part two, identity and promotion scams. In this second part of my series on OnlyFans scams, I am going to discuss uh, identity and promotional scams. These are scams that prey on your desire to have more success on the OnlyFans platform as well as attempt to steal your identity uh, for the scammer's personal gain. Okay, so what is an identity scam? So an identity scam is a scam intended to steal your identity, your likeness, or image so that the scammer can gain benefit from it. All right, so what kind of identity scams are there? Okay, so there is the verification video scam. So what will happen is is that someone will ask you to do odd things on video, like touch your nose uh, as a custom video or custom pictures uh, that don't seem to make much sense. And what they're trying to do is to get verification on uh, apps and websites using your name, your picture, your likeness, and your identity. So once they are able to gain access to those sites as you, uh, they then can scam other people with your likeness. Uh, A great example of this is catfishing, which everyone is familiar with now, which is the concept that someone puts up a fake picture or a series of pictures on a profile on a dating site or on any site, and claims to be that person. So what uh, someone might be attempting to do through OnlyFans, if they're asking for you know custom videos, custom pictures, is they could be trying to use these uh, for verification purposes. So you have to be very careful uh, in what people are asking you to do as far as your custom videos. If they're asking you to say things that don't make very much sense in the video or do things, it's possible that they could be trying to run a verification scam on you. Okay, so then there's the people who subscribe just to steal content scam. So these are people who subscribe uh, just to steal the content that's on your OnlyFans from you. Uh, They then scrape it and put it on to black market websites or, you know, sites that are, you know, all all about stealing, you know, creators content and then distributing them. Uh, So you definitely want to try to avoid that. There are uh, people who will point out online different users who are attempting to do that. And it's hard to, you know, know who those people are unless the community itself has identified what their username is. Um, But it's definitely out there that people are are doing that. So if someone, you know, comes in and subscribes, they're not necessarily someone, you know, doing that. Uh, But it's, it's possible. And what will happen is, is that sometimes they will, as we went over in the last episode, they'll just come in with, you know, a fake credit card or uh, attempt to charge back whatever they did. I will say that OnlyFans usually has a limit of the amount of people that you can follow. So for a subscriber, they can only follow 50 people a day within 24 hours. So I believe that might be to prevent people from coming in subscribing to a whole bunch of pages, scraping the uh, material off of those pages. So there is some, uh, you know, there is something there, some firewall there that OnlyFans has put up, you know, to prevent that. But that's definitely something that exists. 
Then there is the blackmailer scam. So what these people do is they buy content or subscribe to your OnlyFans. And then they will threaten to reveal the content to family, friends, coworkers, etc. that you have. Now for most content creators, you've been able to protect your identity pretty well, you know, based off of the different conversations we've had in this podcast on keeping safe on OnlyFans. Uh, But for some people, they have things connected out there. So it's really easy for a blackmail or a person who's trying to do this to figure out, you know, who you are, where you work, things like that. So they will attempt to, you know, blackmail, which is, you know, the concept of try to, you know, gain something from you for nothing. Uh, Sometimes the blackmailers will just, you know, want extra content. Uh, They want, you know, different things. Again, I don't know exactly what they're going to ask for. Um, But in most cases, this is just a scam. They're just trying to take advantage and hope that you will believe that they actually know more than they really do about your, your identity to be able to go out into the world and tell people about you and, you know, share your content with your employer and things like that. But that's definitely something uh, that exists out there. Then there is the download sign-up scam. Uh, this is where, you know, the scammer will ask you to set up an email that they'll then have access to under the guise that they will send money to it. So they'll say, oh, okay, go set up a Gmail and, you know, and then we'll both be able to log into it. That way I'll be able to, you know, give you things through it. Again, that's bad news. You definitely don't want to set up a Gmail or any email with someone because it, it gives them access to a whole bunch of different resources. Uh, and then again, they can sign up. If you, you know, create the email and use your name, then they could potentially sign up for all sorts of things, Kevin knows, um, through your identity. So you definitely don't want to do that. And there's also people who will ask you to download an app maybe you've never heard of to complete a transaction. This can be because they are trying to uh, do something nefarious. It could be an untrusted app. It could also just be a weird way uh, for them to get money from people downloading. Uh, People definitely get paid to download apps um, onto their computers or on their phones, uh, either or. And so what will happen is, is that they'll be basically trying to do like an affiliate scheme with you where they're giving you you know, a link, and then you go and you do something and then they make money off of it and then they disappear. So you don't want to download or install any applications on your computer or your laptop or, you know, your your tablet or your phone, anything uh, that has to do with, you know, something that someone sends you a link for, unless it's something that you actually want yourself and then there are people who, you know, the asking for large amount of picture uh, scam. And this is where someone will ask for, say, 50 or 60 pictures, all of you doing a specific thing on a particular, you know, say they're asking you to write something on yourself, on a particular area of your body. Again, this could be because they are looking to resell your identity. So they could be asking you to do a whole bunch of different things. Then they'll set up their own account somewhere else and sell what you've given them as a custom. So, I mean, that sounds crazy, but it actually is something that people could do. Again, if they're able to convince others that they are you, then they would be able to, you know, resell, you know, what you've given them, you know, at a bargain basement price possibly, you know, at a premium to a whole bunch of different people. And now people think that they have spoken to you. They've really spoken to the scammer. And now the scammer has all this, you know, all this content to be able to to sell to people. So all of those you just want to be careful of uh, because they are all in some way, you know, the person trying to steal your, your content and your identity at almost at the same time. So you just want to be sure that the person that you're dealing with, you know, is, is on the up and up. And if they're doing something that seems suspicious, 
It probably is. So if you're used to a specific, you know, routine of what people are asking for and someone, you know, is an outlier, that outlier, you should definitely scrutinize that. Okay, so second part here is what is a promotional scam? So a promotional scam is offering uh, you promotion that is illegitimate. So basically any kind of promotion that really isn't, you know, what the person is making it out to be. So some examples of promotional scams would be, you know, send me uh, videos, pics, and I'll promote you. Okay, so, you know, this is where someone offers promotion in exchange for content. You know, this could be someone desperate, uh, but it's likely a scammer. So that's what went over in the last uh, podcast episode about people who just want to get freebies. There's always people who are going to be trying to do that. Uh, But this is sort of a different breed. This is a person who, you know, is supposedly able to give you some sort of promotional offers that they probably never will be able to do, but they're exchanging that for content. First, it just makes no sense. Um, No one who actually does promotion and has anything of value is going to trade it for pictures and videos, no matter how great those pictures and videos are uh, that are being created. Uh, It doesn't make sense. Uh, They're going to want money. Um, You know, if, if what they're doing is worthwhile, then other people will be willing to pay them that money. So they won't be trying to get... Um, content or pictures, videos, etc. for that. So it's very much sketchy and it's very much something that you shouldn't do. And then uh, another one is the I'll give you my subs and followers scam. You know, someone will contact you and say, you know, that they can transfer, you know, subscribers or followers, likes, etc. You know, because they are getting out of the business you know, or they have a client that's getting out of the business and they're able to give you, you know, all these things. Obviously, you know, it's very difficult to transfer followers, subscribers, likes, etc. Um, people who are subscribing to one OnlyFans creator, you know, there, there's a reason that they're doing that. You're not just going to be able to transfer that over like, oh, you know, they're interested in this particular niche type of person. And now, okay, they're going to just going to jump over and start subscribing. Uh, You know, that's just not going to happen. So if someone makes the claim that, you know, they're able to, you know, promote you and they're going to give you a bunch of subscribers from, you know, other people that have, have left again, none of that will work. None of that is within the terms of service for only fans. I mean, it won't, it just won't happen. So uh, that's, you know, definitely a scam. And then, you know, the false followers scam. So basically someone will send you a large amount, a whole bunch of different accounts. They will feature you on, you know, and these accounts have huge numbers, you know, a million followers here and a million followers there and half a million, you know, and it adds up to 10 million people. Wow, wow, you know, and, you know, but the problem is, is that chances are none of those are active. If someone really does have a 1 million follower Instagram, for instance, uh, or on Twitter or wherever they might have a million followers that are actually active, they're going to be running their own promotions like themselves. Like people know who they are. They might be able to get deals here or there. They are not going to be interested in running random pictures of OnlyFans creators. It just doesn't make sense or add up. Uh, People definitely can work very hard on promotion accounts. Uh, I could say that I do. I work very hard on building an organic uh, account. Uh, But, you know, those numbers don't come overnight and they don't come quickly. So chances are whatever someone has done to build up a million, million point five followers, you know, they're probably just going to disappear very quickly as well because they did something you know, to get them that's probably kind of nefarious. Or as we've gone over before in the podcast, the different types of followers, you have dead followers, you have, you know, people who just aren't, you know, interested or on the platform anymore. So, you know, these numbers can be, can seem really great, but chances are they, they aren't. 